Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are, playing modded Minecraft. I've done some reworking down here. Ignore the fact that these pipes are now the see-through ones. There was an update to Thermal Expansion that chain basically reworked stuff, so I had to pull it out. I had to take everything down, and whenever I came back in, the, uh, the pipes were... Uh, they changed their IDs, so their NBT data, or metadata, or whatever you want to use in this case, got changed, so they were see-through pipes. So, free upgrade on that, I suppose. It's not like it's a huge deal. Uh, I've also enabled colorblind mode, because I could. Because, why not? And, as I'm sure you noticed, I have completely redone the walls that are down here. That stuff has been sitting there for probably well over 20 minutes. And if you look at my hotbar, you'll probably be wondering why my good pick isn't there, and that's because I threw it in here, this is along with pretty much everything else of value to me. I made a set of iron armor, and I have some coal, some wood, and a flint and steel, and a nice little... Where'd you come from, cow? And a nice little house over here to contain my nether portal. Things I do want, though, before we continue on, is I probably am going to want some building materials. Uh, we'll go with these. Because I'm going to want to secure things mostly on the other side. I definitely want it secured on this side, because I've had too many times where I go through a portal and a creeper had went through, which was kind of a pain, I'm not going to lie, but it happens. Where are we? We are on soul sand with a nether fortress in direct view. Well, that is convenient. I'm going to set up the fortifications around the nether portal and then we'll go see if we can't find some blazes or probably get killed by some blazes I was watching uh, somebody else play uh, dire wolf if you remember the my previous series I was using the feed the beast mod pack designed after the stuff he used which of course my mod selection is now completely different more or less from it's got a lot of the same stuff that he still uses but it's got different stuff as well but there is railcraft and I learned about firestone but getting firestone for me will be considerably harder than it was for him because he used the IC2 hazmat suit to jump into lava because it protected him from it and I am not using IC2 it is one of the mods I've removed Holy crap. Because I didn't like the changes they made to it, so it no longer... Ugh. Let's try that again. So it no longer fit my playstyle. And thus I removed it. it. It just became too... Greg techy. There was just too many things that were just all about consuming your time and not actually accomplishing anything, and it bothered me. Oh, we'll be the, I think the easiest way over there, how did that happen? The easiest way over there would probably be to build a bridge. That is a lot of lava. Oh. Uh, I tell you what, I will build a bridge over there, or probably end up dying before then, that's right. And, uh, then I will be back with you. I'm not going to build a completely covered bridge, by the way. But, uh, for the moment, I'm... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. You know, all I have to say is, those god dang spiders. Seriously, the spiders headed by Natura are so annoying. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Uh, 
Wow, I didn't die. Impressive. I suppose all I can really do at the moment is hide in this little hole here and wait. Realistically, I should be minding this stuff. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, I walked into that one. Literally. Okay. You know what? Let's get some real supplies. There's more coal I threw down the drain, though. And more iron. Which... Meh. Not really too concerned about iron. Or coal, for that matter. But, uh, I think... I'm going to shoot me... Some blazes. You know what I need. I need to grab some food. There we go. Oops. There was a very good reason why I left everything that was of any value to me in that house. And that was, well, yeah, because of things like this. You know, I probably could have went down there and went in there far easier than what I'm trying to do right now. Which is go up through here. But that's not what I apparently chose to do. I chose to do the hardest thing I could come up with. And I will never know why. Oh, come on. Okay, so I'll create a stairwell on this side as well. Now, this is 164. As far as I know, there is chests here in the nether. Whether or not I can find them, that's a different story. Oops. Stupid skeleton, you're in the way. Can't you see I'm trying to pew pew blazes? You missed. Really? Not a single blazer rod? I feel cheated. Interesting. Double staircase. That looks like... Whoop. That looks like a blaze spawner. Oh, hell. Oops. Oh, yeah, I don't have any torches at the moment. Ow. not exactly the safest thing I've ever done, that is for sure. But I need blaze rods. So, I shall have blaze rods. Give me blaze rods and probably death. Now, not the smartest idea I've ever had. Come on now. Ooh, there's a blazer rod in there. I want that, but if I go in there, I'm going to die. Hey. Are you oh no. No. For dramatic scream, no. <laughs> I, 
I knew I was going to die. And yet I went in there anyhow. The question is, does anything land in the fire? Because that would be disappointing. Th this is my experiences with the nether as of lately. Just kind of... Things fighting with me. I think I've gotten way too used to having, like, modular power suits equipped and stuff. Why is there a bow just randomly sitting here? At least it's not too terribly hard to get back over here. Unless something kind of shows up in the way, then I could have a problem. Kind of like that. I have four blaze rods. Oh, jeez. Might as well combine these bows. Oh, I think my arrows got burned up. That's disappointing. Oh. They are respawning quick inside of there. Okay. I think it's time to evacuate. I have seven blaze rods. Go away. That should be enough for the moment. That was one of the biggest reasons I came in here. Actually, now I think about it, I need eight, but... Oh yeah, I also came in here for glowstone. But... Come on, guy. Oh, that's even worse. Come on. Stop being dumb. Go where I can fight you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. oh. Well, he went where I could fight him. Sort of. Fine. Screw him. I'll come with all. Come up with alternative ways to handle this. Besides going the wrong way. But I do want to kind of do a quick chest scour. Ooh, there's a chest. What is in you? Diamond horse armor. Saddles. Nether ward. Well then, I have nether ward. That's a plus. Another blaze spawner, huh? What I should do is soul shards. Then I can spawn this stuff back in... The normal world in a controlled environment with machines to kill things. Yes. I think that is probably the most optimal of my plans. This is assuming I don't get completely blasted by a ghast. I don't really have too much obsidian at the moment, but I could make an ign igneous extruder to deal with it. And I could go get lava from... Well... It's about anywhere, really. So, I think... Oh, it's getting to be night time. I think what I might do is actually get the soul shard stuff going. So. Crystallized soul essence. I left four obsidian in here. It takes two to make a chest, and I need two chests, but it also takes one to make a soul cage, which I think also requires iron. You... Okay, there's a soul cage. Soul... Shadow blade... Done. I don't want to use that all the time. Uh... Hmm. See, as far as I know, you just have to have it in your inventory and kill them with the Shadow Blade. 
but my success with these things in the past has been marginal. If that makes any sense. Oh, also, I've installed a new mod. It's down there in the bottom right. It's called Wyla. What am I looking at? So you can look at something, know what mod it's from. You can actually see the growth percentage on the plants. And certain things like the thermal expansion energy conduits. Not conduits, the, uh, the cubes. The cells. That's the word I'm looking for. You can see how much is in them without opening them up. And it works with other things as well. So, it, it has some uses. That is for sure. It's not terribly useful, but I decided it's one of those things where I don't care too terrible much. Now, as far as I know, I just kill something with the sword with a soul essence in my inventory. I kind of want to go after that wither skeleton, but he decided to just go away. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, I can see my cobblestone structure on the map. Okay, that is a rude positioning, sir. Sir. Hey, you. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I think I'm going to do a quick check on this because I'd made one before on Soul Shards. But who knows? So, before I get killed with this stuff in my inventory, I'm going to pause the game, like so, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, as you may notice, wow, that is a lot of places, I am no longer where I was. I went back to the house, because I did some research, and what I found out is that you need up to five shards per mob that you're going after. So, a lot of the passive mobs apparently require one, whereas other mobs like blazes would require up to five, which in the case of the blaze is apparently exactly five. So, that is actually really, really expensive. Kind of leaves me wondering, you know, if it's really worth it in the end. Because there is alternatives. And by alternatives, I mean I could use Mine Factory Reloaded. Wow. Talk about a hole in the world. And basically what I could do is I could kill some gas, get some gas tears, make some of the, uh, the nets, and I could capture mobs in those, and I could use a mob spawner to generate basically just generate the mob essence I would need in order to spawn mobs out of the auto spawner. I mean it's not too terribly hard to make so it's not really a huge deal. Now another downside which I have plenty of this uh, should have at least in order to make proper use, I need a grinder, which means I need a gold sword, a book, and a piston. Hmm. How many cows are available nearby? Seeing a few. I probably have leather sitting in a chest, and I'm retarded. But I'm going to kill a cow, because I've already walked outside, so it's too late. Wow. Didn't even give me leather. What a cheapskate. That said, technically I only need one cow. You know what, I'm just going to check and see if I have any leather. 
Uh, zombie flesh. Actually, wasn't there some kind of a... No? Okay. Hmm. I am at a complete lack of everything I need to do anything this episode. It's extremely annoying. Okay, so maybe it's not that annoying. But it is annoying. As long as there's one cow alive, but, you know, technically I could probably go get a crystallized soul essence and make a cow spawner. Which wouldn't be a bad idea because it'd also be an infinite source of high quality food. Potatoes are good and all, but steak is better. Yeah. So, in theory, a cow would only cost me one crystallized soul essence? Let's go prove this theory. I'd probably kill chickens with it too. But the thing is, is, I need eggs from chickens. I don't really need anything else from chickens. Hey, cow. Oh, yeah. Cow spawner. So, I can put those in front of a MFR grinder, power the MFR grinder, which I'm probably going to need more power output in my base for this, but what are you going to do? Uh, something I do want to do is grab that, grab that. I'm going to want... Okay, fight with me then. Some of this. Redneck cable. Basically, it's kind of like a redstone wire. I probably made considerably more than I'm going to need. But, uh, you can turn off the spawners with cable. It's like 32 instead. So, I kind of want to do that. Oh, hey, I have a piston just sitting in here. That's useful. And done there. Uh, oh, hello, potatoes. I suppose I'll need another soul cage. I can't do that right now. Okay. What do I, I got blaze rods. So I think what I might do. Hmm. This is going to take time. It, it's pretty simple. I'm... Hmm. I kind of want to show you, but I don't want to do this in my house. Or anywhere near my house. Now, once I place this soul cage down and set it to a mob type... It's going to stay that mob type after I pick it up. As you can see, it says Soul Cage Blaze, but I still have my Soul Shard. Blazes aren't really affected by light levels, so I have to worry about those. And I believe animals normally... It follows the, the uh, requirements of a standard vanilla spawner, including the range, I'm pretty sure. Which means that I would need to set up a system either in the wall, which is possible. I guess it wouldn't need to be that high. Although... Mm, I left myself just barely enough space for this. You know what? Let's get something that's probably just a tiny bit faster. So I'm done in the nether pretty much now. The only time I need to go back there is whenever I want to get wither skeletons to kill a wither, which isn't likely to happen too terribly soon. Okay, so I'm going to want this four blocks in like so. Now you can see it's off now. Ow. And then I'm also very close to dead now. 
Like I said, it follows the requirements of a vanilla spawner, which means that if I just shove it right here in the wall, it'll probably be extremely unhappy with me and I won't care. But I do want to set up an MFR grinder, but I'm trying to conserve time, sort of. I do kind of want to make a drum, though. I should have enough steel to make one, because I'd gathered some from the abandoned mine shaft. Oh. Oh. That's not good. I do not want to leave them the ability to spawn up here. Although, despite what I try to do, they'll probably do it anyhow. Maybe? Uh, maybe not. So, I do kind of want to get some grass down in here, but it's not really important until afterwards. Although, in the meantime, go up here. What was I doing? I was making a grinder. Requires me to make one of these things. I am being easily sidetracked, and things are going on far longer than I had originally intended, but what do you do? Things happen. Oops. Wrong button. Uh, I should probably repair my floor. Uh, I'm being kind of slightly confused and distracted again. I do that occasionally. And by that I mean I just forgot why I came over here in the first place. I'll grab this chest. And I might as well upgrade it while I'm at it. It's got decent enough amount of iron. Oh, right. I came over here for... Oh, that's not hardly going to be enough. What do you take again? Lead, lead. You know what? Uh, yeah. Whatever. Piece of glass and six redstone. Done. Six should be enough. I hope. Yeah, that'll be enough. So, two, three, two, two. That is power. We're good. Now, put down the chest. Oh. And... I do have six steel, right? Okay, good. Six steel. Seven, nine, eleven. Yeah, I'm making a drum. Which holds roughly 256 buckets. Which is... Oops. Pretty good amount, actually. Uh, what I've managed to establish is that while it's probably more ex expensive in the long run, actually it is more expensive by almost two stacks of iron. Uh, not even to mention the piping. But you can actually store more fuel in less space than railcraft tanks. So if you're worried about space, as far as I can tell, this is the most efficient way to handle it. Or, in terms of what I'm doing, it's probably the least efficient way of handling it. Especially considering I'm going way over my originally intended amount of time I wanted to spend on this. I don't know how many fluid ducts I need, which is why I just grabbed all four of them. Uh, that's not actually going to connect. But, whatever. Now, the one last thing I want to do... Why are you not letting me through here? I don't actually want to break that yet. Uh, 
Send this down here, up to, I suppose, right about there. Oh, oh. See, I need to get a wrench to stop it from attaching to some of these things. So I left my wrench, not with me. Okay, I'm making this take far longer than it should be, but I kind of want to get this out of the way before I stop. And so I will, I swear. Uh, might as well fill that back in. Now I should be able to wrench the center. Come on. There we go. Oops. There we go. This is going to be an inescapable situation whenever it comes down to it in the end, I think. The machine is active. Escape. Escape. And lever. Ta-da! Turns on and off. So now I will just fill this in. It's a blaze spawner, so it doesn't really need light. And then the grinder should, as they spawn, which they should be able to spawn in there, slowly but surely. I'd like one to spawn so I can prove that fact. But I suppose we'll see what happens. I am going to throw these things in here. Just can go in there, that. You can actually upgrade these now to make hardened ones, which support up to 400 as opposed to the 80. But it's not really going to be a huge issue. I'll probably just jump straight to the redstone conduits. Are you not spawning anything? Ah, oh, there we go. And in about five seconds, this should kill him. Yeah, blaze rod. Oh, that's unfortunate. The, uh... Hmm. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Just in general. No, that's a bit too expensive, unfortunately. See, I don't really have any options on tanks. So I'm not entirely sure what I can do in this situation. Because I could make the portable tanks, but they're kind of... It's the hardened one, old 16 buckets. Really? It's that easy. This is going on way too long. I'm sorry. I'm easily distracted. Especially in this case. These hold eight each. Should be able to take eight in bar. And upgrade. What? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Do I have to do it manually? Apparently. You can upgrade it again, can't you? Oh, it takes hardened glass. Okay, so. I suppose we'll be able to hold up to 32,000 worth in these tanks. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. It's rude. Why are you... I swear. Are you telling me you can only accept it from the top? Because that would be kind of rude. I'm not going to lie. I should just stop right now. Stop what I'm doing. But I can't help myself. I want to finish this. 
And this is how I end up in these situations where episodes go on forever and ever and ever and I end up with one hour episodes. To be fair though, that hasn't happened too much. What did I do? I had accidentally rotated it. Oh, I did it again. See how this is orange? And it says output mode. Let's go through here and do this. That, that's terrifying having them that close. But. There we go. Yeah, I got 601 millibuckets. So, that'll store up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Kind of disappointed that drums don't support that. It, it says it does. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait one second here. Oopsie. If I were to take this, put it here, wrench it. What kind of rude is that? That's rude. That is extremely rude. Oh well. It works. I'm getting blaze rods. Turn this off for now. And I'm going to call this good for now. Way longer than I meant for it to go on for. What are you going to do? I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.